Then Adonai said to Abram, Get going out from your land and from your relatives and from your father's house to the land that I will show you. My heart's desire is to make you into a great nation, to bless you, to make your name great so that you may be a blessing. My desire is to bless those who bless you, but whoever curses you, I will curse. And in you, all the families of the earth will be blessed. So Abram went, just as Adonai had spoken to him. Also Lot went with him. Now Abram was 75 years old when he departed from Haran. Abram took Sarai his wife and Lot his nephew, and all their possessions that they had acquired, and the people that they had acquired in Haran. And they left to go to the land of Canaan, and they entered the land of Canaan. Abraham passed through the land as far as the place of Shechem, as far as Moriah's big tree. The Canaanites were in the land then. Then Adonai appeared to Abraham and said, I will give this land to your seed. So there he built an altar to Adonai, who had appeared to him. From there he moved to the mountain, to the east of Bethel, and erected his tent, with Bethel to the west and Ai to the east. There he built an altar to Adonai and called on the name of Adonai. So Abram kept on journeying southward. After these things, the word of Adonai came to Abram in a vision, saying, Do not fear, Abram. I am your shield, your very great reward. But Abram said, My lord, Adonai, what will you give me since I'm living without children and the heir of my household is Eliezer of Damascus? Then Abram said, Look, you've given me no seed, so a house-born servant is my heir. Behold, the word of Adonai came to him, saying, This one will not be your heir, but in fact, one will come from your own body will be your heir. He took him outside and said, Look up now at the sky and count the stars, if you are able to count them. Then he said to him, So shall your seed be. Then he believed in Adonai, and he reckoned it to him as righteousness. Then he said to him, I am Adonai, who brought you out from Ur of the Chaldeans in order to give you this land to inherit it. So he said, My lord Adonai, how will I know that I will inherit it? Then he said to him, Bring me a three-year-old young cow, a three-year-old she-goat, a three-year-old ram, a turtle dove, and a young bird. So we brought all these to him and cut them in half and put each piece opposite the other. But he did not cut the birds. Then the birds of prey came down upon the carcasses, but Abram drove them away. When the sun was about to set and a deep sleep fell on Abram, behold, terror of great darkness was falling upon him. Then he said to Abram, Know for certain that your seed will be strangers in a land that is not theirs, and they will be enslaved and oppressed four hundred years. But I am going to judge the nation that they will serve. Afterward, they will go out with many possessions. But you, you will come to your fathers in peace. You will be buried at a good old age. Then, in the fourth generation, they will return here, for the iniquity of the Amorites is not yet complete. When the sun set and it became dark, behold, there was a smoking oven and a fiery torch that passed between these pieces. On that day, Adonai cut a covenant with Abram, saying, I give this land to your seed, from the river of Egypt to the great river, the Euphrates River, the Kenite, the Kenizzites, the Kamenites, the Hittites, the Perizzites, the Raphites, the Amorites, the Canaanites, the Girgashites, and the Jebusites. Then Adonai appeared to him at the Mamre large trees, where he was sitting in the entrance of his tent during the heat of the day. When he lifted up his eyes to see, suddenly three men were standing right by him. When he saw them, he ran from the entrance of his tent to meet them and bowed down to the ground. Then he said, My lord, if now I have found favor in your eyes, please do not pass by your servant. Please let a little water be brought so you can wash your feet and make yourselves comfortable under a tree. And let me bring a bit of bread so that you can refresh yourselves. Then you can pass on since you have passed by your servant. They said, Do just as you have said. So Abraham hurried into the tent to Sarah and said, 
quick, knead three measures of fine flour and prepare bread loaves. Then through the herd Abraham ran and took out a young oxen, tender and good, and he gave it to the servant, who prepared it quickly. Then he took butter and milk and the young oxen that he had prepared and set it before them. While he was standing by them under the tree, they ate. Then they said to him, Where is Sarah, your wife? There, in the tent, he said. Then he said, I most surely will return to you in about a year's time. Surprisingly, Sarah, your wife, will have a son. Sarah was listening at the entrance of the tent, which was behind him. Now Abraham and Sarah were old, advanced in years. Sarah had stopped having the way of women. So Sarah <laughs> laughed to herself, saying, After I have grown decrepit, can I have desire, and my Lord, so old? Then Adonai said to Abraham, Why is it that Sarah laughed, saying, Can I really give birth when I am so old? Is anything too difficult for Adonai? In the appointed time I will return to you in about a year, and Sarah will have a son. Sarah denied it, saying, I didn't laugh. For she was afraid. But he said, No, for you did laugh. Then Adonai visited Sarah just as he had said, and Adonai did for Sarah just as he had spoken. So Sarah became pregnant and gave birth to a son for Abraham in his old age, at the appointed time that God had told him. Abraham named his son who was born to him, whom Sarah bore for him, Isaac. Then Abraham circumcised Isaac, his eight-day-old son, just as God had commanded him. Abraham was 100 years old when Isaac his son was born to him. So Sarah said, God has made laughter for me. Everyone who hears will laugh with me. She also said, Who would have said to Abraham, Sarah has nursed children, for I have given birth to a son in his old age. Now it was after these things that God tested Abraham. He said to him, Abraham, Hineni, he said, and then he said, Take your son, your only son whom you love, Isaac, and go to the land of Moriah and offer him there as a burnt offering on one of the mountains which I will tell you. So Abraham got up early in the morning, saddled his donkey, and took two of his young men with him, and Isaac his son. He split wood for the burnt offering and got up and went to the place about which God had told him. On the third day, Abraham lifted up his eyes and saw the place from a distance. Abraham said to the young man, Sit yourself down here with the donkey. As for me and the young man, we'll go over there, worship, and return to you. Then Abraham took the wood for the burnt offering and put it on Isaac his son. In his hand, he took the fire and the knife. So the two of them walked on together. Then Isaac said to Abraham his father, My father? Then he said, Here I am, my son. He said, Look, here's the fire and the wood, but where's the lamb for the burnt offering? Abraham said, God will provide for himself a lamb for a burnt offering, my son. The two of them walked on together. Then they came to the place about which God had told him. And Abraham built the altar there, laid out the wood, bounded up Isaac his son, and laid him on the altar, on top of the wood. Then Abraham reached out his hand and took the knife to slaughter his son. But the angel of Adonai called to him from heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham. He said, Hineni. Then he said, Do not reach out your hand against your young man. Do nothing to him at all. For now I know that you are the one who fears God. You did not withhold your son, your only son, from me. Then Abraham lifted up his eyes, and behold, there was a ram, just caught in the thick bushes by its horns. So Abraham went and took the ram and offered it up as a burnt offering instead of his son. Abraham named that place Adonai Yireh, as it is said today. On the mountain, Adonai will provide. 
the angel of Adonai called to Abraham a second time from heaven and said, By myself I swear, it is a declaration of Adonai, because you have done this, and you did not withhold your son, your only son, I will richly bless you and bountifully multiply your seed like the stars in the heaven and like the sand that is on the seashore, and your seed will possess the gates of his enemy. In your seed, all the nations of the earth will be blessed because you obeyed my voice. Then Abraham returned to his young men, and they got up and went together to Beersheba. Then Abraham dwelled in Beersheba.